managed to get sacked even from that. Yet another dead end. Theo says he believes in him. And that if Vincent will fight for himself, he will fight alongside him. And that was it. Picks up a brush for the first time at 28. With Theo's support, there is no stopping him. So what happened then? Harris happened. Came here, of course. They all do. Everyone does. Monet, Toulouse, Finia, Lenard, Manet. Everybody. Because everything that happens in art happens here. And where do they all buy their paints? Their tongues, of course. Waitress. A drink. Make me pure. Cheers. We'll see. But not for him. It was a stopover to learn what he needed to learn. And then he was off in search of his own path. I saw him once more after two years. He was calmer, more assured. I thought, this is a man whose story will end well. His star finally rising. His revolution won. So think how shocking it was to be standing over Vincent's coffin just six weeks later. So sad. For many, he died a martyr for art. But for me, it seems odd. Why? In only eight years, he had traveled from amateur to an artist of influence. Unbelievable. Monet declared him the shining star of the Independent Artists' Fair. And he was cured, according to his doctor. Dr. Gachet, who had looked up. I met him at the funeral. Just a few artists from Paris. And he thought he was Vincent's brother. He was the one who made the speech. And he cried all the way through it. And an hour later, he was running around taking Vincent's best paintings off the wall as if they were his. And they were his fee for treating Vincent. It seemed odd, but the doctor had Theo's full confidence. I understand he's still close to the Van Gogh family. Maybe you should ask him why Vincent did it. It's my father who wanted to know why. I just wanted to deliver this letter. Docs are only ghosts in Paris now. I'm afraid you're going to have to take this letter back to your father. With my condolences, father. Looks like I'm continuing my journey. I need to find a new recipient, as unfortunately Theo is dead. There is this doctor, who I believe is the person to entrust the letter to. So I'm going to all that. Make some excuse to my boss. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Yes? I'm here to see Dr. Gachet. Really? Do you happen to have an appointment? No. I have a, a letter from Vincent van Gogh, a friend of my father's from our. Do you now? You know he's actually passed away. Yes. The doctor's in Paris. He won't be back till tomorrow. I'll make sure the doctor gets the letter. No, I'd, I'd rather deliver it in person. I want to ask the doctor about Vincent. Well, I can tell you about him. He was evil. Is that a medical opinion? I could tell at first glance it would end in trouble. He had these Hello. bewildered eyes Hello. in which there was something insane, yeah. something which you dare not look. Mm. 
nothing has been the same since he came here. I'll get you a message. Tell him when it's convenient for the doctor to see you. Where in your residence? Where did Vincent reside? Oh, at the Ravel Inn. Oh, well, you can find me there. No, you don't want to stay there. It's a hole. Oh, Dr. Bookton somewhere proper, but probably suited him better in a hole. Well, still, that's where you can send word. You're not going to stir things up again, are you? I've had quite enough weeping over that nutcase in this household. Are you looking for something? Looking for the owner. Speaking to her. You're the owner? Well, my parents are, but they're visiting me auntie, so... I guess for the next two days I'm the proprietress. That's a fine dress. Suitable attire for a proprietress. <laughs> I don't get to wear it that often when my father's here. I've always got errands for me. I don't know what that's like. Do you fancy something? Not saying no to a hot coffee. So, what brings you to Orvair? A friend of my father's, Vincent van Gogh. We just found out he killed himself. He stayed here. I know. Were you here when it happened? It was so dreadful. I served the tenant's dinner at seven, and uh, he wasn't there. He came later, though. But something was very wrong. My father went after him. didn't even say one word to Vincent. The two of them just, just looked at each other like, like two angry wolves. And Vincent's lying on this bed and he's got a bullet in his belly and he's, he's crying out in pain, asking when someone would remove him. And Dr. Gache, an ex-military doctor, I mean, he should know how to remove a bullet. He does nothing. He just decided the case was hopeless and, and left. And the next morning, you know, rumors about Vincent had spread all over town. At eight o'clock, gendarme Rigamon comes knocking. What are you doing? Can't you leave the man in peace? Can't you see he's not well? Just being thorough, Mr. Ravel, that's all. Where's the gun? No idea. No idea. <laughs> My father sent him away. He said Rigamon is the last person a dying man should have to see. Mr. Theo came in the afternoon and he, he comes in yelling, oh, what happened, ow? You know, that was, that was the terrible thing, is that no one really knew. And then, you know, it was normal and calm. And, you know, I, I honestly thought it was all gonna be fine. If only I could have been one of them. But as the night came, a fever in him rose and he was getting weaker. About half past one, Theo comes downstairs. 